Hi, this is Nancy Walker with another edition of Wisdom from the Kitchen. Tonight we're going to talk about one of my family's favorite meat replacements. It's a product called Soy Curls and it's put out by Butler Foods and it comes in a package similar to this. You can also get larger sized ones. But this is a great product. A lot of people are interested in whole foods and this is a great whole soybean product. What they do is they take an entire soybean, so they don't take any of the germ off, they don't take any of the fiber away, and they pressure cook it for a very short period of time and then they extrude it. And when they extrude it, they end up with long thin pieces of soy product, which is excellent when you rehydrate it. They dry it and that's how you buy it. So all you have to do with the soy curl is add boiling water to it and let it sit for about 10 minutes and then you can use it in any recipe where you would use something like beef strips or chicken strips, except you're going to get no cholesterol. It's going to be low fat, full of fiber, and wonderful tasting. I'm going to go ahead and rehydrate some soy curls just to show you how quick and easy it really is. When I rehydrate my soy curls, I go ahead and add my flavoring to it as it's rehydrating. I don't know if it really soaks in or not. I like to think that it is. So today I'm going to do beef seasoning on it because I'm going to put it with barbecue sauce. So I'm going to take about a tablespoon of my McKay's beef seasoning. You can use any kind that you like. This is one I like. You can go to my website to find out how to order it at wisdomfromthekitchen.com. Just going to put sprinkle that on top of my soy curls. And then I have boiling water here and I'm just going to go ahead and add just enough boiling water so that it just comes to the top of the soy curls. And then take my spoon, stir them up. I probably actually in this batch have just a little bit too much water, but I'm going to go ahead and let it sit for at least 10 minutes. The longer you let it sit, the softer it's going to become. It really doesn't lose its texture and fall apart at all. It just becomes more tender. It's kind of like if you have fajitas made with a cheap cut of steak, or you have fajitas made with an expensive cut of steak, the steak will be tender or a little bit tougher. The longer you let them sit, the more tender they become. I'm going to finish my barbecue soy curl recipe, which really only takes about 30 seconds to finish once you've rehydrated the soy curls. Now, as you can see, I have poured my boiling water and my beef flavoring over the soy curls. They've sat for about 10 minutes, so they're getting a nice soft texture. There is a little bit of juice left here at the bottom, which I am really fine with leaving in. If you're going to put it in something that you really don't want that juice, then go ahead and just lift it and drain it out. The reason why I'm going to leave mine in is because I'm going to add barbecue sauce and then I'm going to reheat it back up on the stove. So here I just purchased some of our favorite barbecue sauce. And it's really simple. Like I said earlier, even a 10 year old could probably do this. Oh, if I trusted my 8 year old with boiling water, even she could do it. And then you just add your barbecue sauce to it. Go ahead and mix it all up. Put it on the stove or in your microwave to reheat it. And you're good to go. Now we like this on on sandwiches as a barbecue sandwich. We love it when we just feel like having the good old barbecue. We'll have coleslaw on the side, baked beans, maybe some fried up potatoes. And we feel like we're having a Fourth of July meal. Hope you enjoy it. I hope you've enjoyed this segment of Wisdom from the Kitchen. I had a wonderful time and hope you did too as well as learned quite a few things. Be sure to visit my website at www.wisdomfromthekitchen.com where you'll find a lot of recipes and menus that I hope your family will enjoy as much as we do.